So it is 9.21 and I'm waiting on Kenny right now to come and pick me up. So we are going to the uh, Houston, Texas Gymshark pop-up. It's gonna be crazy, but the worst part is gonna be this drive. It's like five and a half hours. I'm hoping Kenny drives the first part because the first part's the worst to me just because I've drove it so many times. But I think after that, it'll go by pretty fast. Bro, unlock the door. Hey, hey! So, we left about 9.40. Apparently I told Kenny we were leaving at eight, I mean seven. Seven. I, I thought we were leaving at eight, but. I had like two tests I had to take last night, so I went to sleep at 3 a.m. and woke up at 6 a.m. Bro, I remember you Snapchat me, it was like a 72 question test, and you're like, oh, look, another one. It was like yeah, 42 more I didn't questions. Know. Dude, I looked miserable. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, David. Hey. Dylan, David, Lex Little. Hi, Chris Bumstead. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna be huge. Hello, boys. He's like, hi, tiny man. So, me and Kenny stopped at QT. Uh, Texas Wawa. Basically, Texas Wawa. But, uh, I got a chicken bacon ranch flatbread and a burrito. Totally off diet. So much for my clean eating. And I got that free coffee. Keep me awake or driving. This is so good. $5 for 800 calories. My mom just texted me and said, huh, your mom's so smart. Mine? Mine. Like, she was talking about herself. Oh. This is so good. Something besides a chicken breast and a grain of rice. Must be crazy. I'm just bored. <laughs> so, we only have like. Oh! Alright, we only have like three hours left. Only three, you know. Only three. I mean, we've been driving for like. Uh, oh, Kenny's geez. been driving for like over. It's like two and a half hours now. It's been going like kind of fast. We've been trying to find a room to stay in. Yeah, we just left without having like yeah. any plans that we, we're gonna stay. <laughs> just kind of hope we find a place to stay, and if not, we just sleep in the car. In the beginning, there was time. No room for darkness. <laughs> The freaking dungeon? I don't know. We successfully broken into Area 51. Um, we're a little late to the party, but as you can see, I've gotten some steroids. What is that? BS. Big steroids. Dude, I'm scared to see how this looks. So basically, we're here, about to go to our room, and uh... I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day except you. Dude, I'm getting so many gains from holding this giant yeah, I camera. I can see your huge, dude, your bicep looks crazy. <laughs> no, basically, we're going to our room right now. Thank, thank the Lord. Like, I'm genuinely pretty tired since all we've been doing is driving. And here we are. Dude, this is way better than we were gonna say. I'm definitely glad to be here and just like chill for a sec. It's gonna be nice, just chilling. But I'm ready to like, Go and explore and see what there is. Okay, so basically, we've been trying to figure out which gym we're gonna go to, and uh, I decided instead of going to like, instead of going to like LA Fitness or something, and like just, I don't know, wasting our time, we're gonna go to Alphalete Gym, and it's gonna be epic. Like, it's gonna be so cool. My, my mind's gonna get blown. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I feel like, what the heck? Dude, the shreds look crazy. <laughs> so, the craziest thing right now, like, it's weird thinking that me and Kenny are two minutes away from the Alphalete gym. Like, something that, like, I see in videos and think about, like, all the time. Like, wow, it'd be so cool to go there. We're literally about to go. But, uh, before we go, we stopped at, I don't know if you can see it. We stopped at Wendy's. I got a uh, salad and uh, just a chicken breast. And then Kenny got, what did you get? Smoke weed every day. I just got like a spicy chicken wrap. It was literally at two dollars. I'm just I want to save my appetite for Chinatown. Yeah, so 
<laughs> so after uh, after the gym, we're gonna go to like Chinatown. Hopefully, eat some like unique food. I want to see some sushi. I and do. Fake Supreme. <laughs> He's coming for you. Dude, watch out, Lex. I'm coming. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. Basically, we came to Alphalete Gym. Like, it was cool enough, like, coming to the gym and, like, I don't know, just knowing it was real. We're, like, we finished our squats, like, having a good workout and everything. We met, like, tons of people. Next thing I know, I turn around, and Dylan McKenna is right there. I walk up, and I was like, yo, what's up? And he was like, hey, can you help me find, like, some elbow sleeves? And I was like, yeah, dude, for sure. And I, like, talked to him, talked to David. David was there. Lex was there. James was there. Uh, Dylan. Who else was there? Was that all? That was it. Yeah, dude, it was literally the craziest thing ever. They were all like lifting. Cool, talked to them for like the first 15 minutes. And then like the entire gym stormed them the whole time, like crowded them. But like we like finished our workout and gave them their space and then like said bye at the end. But overall it was pretty cool. And then tomorrow we'll meet them again and like get to actually talk since we won't be at the gym. Craziest thing ever. Me and Kenny have been driving in circles for like probably 30 minutes because we kept trying to miss all the tolls, but we just made it to like Chinatown and there are stores everywhere and it's actually like super cool. So I'm super excited to check it out. Hopefully see some cool stuff. Me and Kenny came into like a supermarket just to like see what all was up. It's super, it's super interesting. There's so much stuff that's like I've never seen or can read. I wanted to try something, but like I couldn't like splurge because I'm still like trying to get my diet pretty hard. But we found these little like ice cream bars. It's like 250. So we're gonna try them out, walk around, see what else we can find. Honestly, the hardest thing for me right now is not buying a bunch of candy because obviously it's my favorite. <laughs> Tiniest karaoke bar. I have no idea why. We stopped here something to eat. I don't know if y'all can even hear me, but uh, my brain is just like, it's been a long day. Literally running on like four hours of sleep. It's been a long day. We're eating some like, I don't know. It's like rice and shrimp and veggies. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm terrified. Ready, ready to get back to the hotel and get that like hotel AC. I'm gonna be out. Seven years now, it's like it's all I've ever really known, so I'm really enjoying it. The only difference is, is here I've got like loads of different things going on, but I saw a little bit. I like the workers, like the people you just hire, do they work for Jim Stark like full time? Yeah, so most of the people that you'll see will have flown out from the UK. Um, generally, so all the people working in this area, sort of the athlete areas, will be they'll be local, they'll be around, they'll be around well, US, Texas, probably Houston, basically. But I think maybe we've got. 
I would say 15 to 20 people from the UK, maybe. So when y'all are like picking out a Gymshark athlete, like what are the requirements that y'all look for? So we want people that are inspiring people uh, to, I guess, better themselves physically and mentally. That's really important to us. Uh, we're not too fussed about followers. A lot of people think you need to have a certain amount of followers. It's not like that. There's a bunch of people that we sponsored and that have joined the team without having a massive following. For us, it's all about, are you inspiring people? Are you putting a positive message out? Um, do your sort of values align with the Gymshark values? And then we've got a team of people that are constantly looking to add to the team. Was it like if someone had thought that they had like a chance of joining the team or could have a potential, would they? Yeah. Would you want them to contact y'all, or so would y'all just wait to? We we used to do that, and it just didn't work because we had tens of thousands oh, yeah, of people contacting crazy. us. So that's now we've built out a team. There's probably about 20 people that do this, constantly looking at who's posting on socials across TikTok, YouTube. We think are really important and really powerful channels yeah, at the moment. Um, tagging Jim Shark, even tagging myself, obviously helps because then we'll be able to keep an eye on on your progress. Um, but essentially, we contact you. We did try it the other way, and it just we just couldn't handle the uh, influx of people that we had. Five years ago, people thought it was saturated. Whitney Simmons yeah. blow, blew up out of nowhere. David came out of nowhere. There is opportunity, it's just tough to see. And I think you need to balance that with being true to yourself, yeah. but also understanding that there is opportunity out there. So don't just completely switch your personality to try and plug a gap in the market, yeah. as it were, because it just won't work. So it's about that balance. And it's so cool, like, seeing all the athletes, like, I don't know, not really knowing them in person, you know, like, oh, it's not really possible. Like, after seeing them, like, I know it's real. Like, I can definitely do this. It's, a, it's like, a great group of people, genuinely. Yeah. Like, it's, it, it's really important to us that that group of people are really sort of a real tight-knit group, and it really is legit. And it's, I love spending time with them. That's why these events are so great for us. So we finish up here, we'll all pack up at the end of the day, we'll get food together, and it's, it's really fun. And it's like all these things that you see, like maybe the gym chart stuff or what Alphalete are doing, no different to what you're doing. It's just these guys are vlogging it, they're putting it on YouTube, on the internet. And it's no different, it's all legit. It's all people just like yourself that worked incredibly hard to get to where they want to be. Yeah. First off, we're at the expo, I haven't got a lot of clips. Can you take a most of them on yeah. his I'll camera? Steal them, I guess. I'm gonna have to it. steal them. But this has been one of the most like craziest experiences ever. Like when we walked up to the athletes, they were like, "Oh yeah, we remember you guys." Like it was just super cool. And we got to talk to Ben Francis. And like, because he wasn't out, I went up there and I was like, "Hey, can we talk to Ben?" He came out and had like a 15-minute conversation with us. It was just so cool. All right, so it is 1:56. We just got back to Alphalete. We stopped by Wendy's before this. I relived the Gym Shark event drove stopped at a wendy's right by the gym and after eating i am like dead i could honestly take a nap but we've got to be back home hopefully we'll get home around eight or nine uh. oh no, I'm just, just dead Was Houston it was pretty good it's like three weeks later and uh, I've had some time to think about taking things to the next level like I guess uh, fitness wise just like what made you realize that dude after meeting everyone and realizing that like 
it's all real like it's super possible to like chase your dreams and uh i guess make my fitness slash influencer uh, thing real you know like turn into reality after seeing david dylan and lex like you don't have to have a million followers but uh you definitely like a good following so you gotta start somewhere <laughs> yeah what's your plans for this next year plans 2020 uh i'm going to be competing in houston at the phil heath classic so uh, i've been doing dieting for like a month now and it's been pretty pretty tough but i think once we gain like another 20 to 30 pounds and then shred it's gonna be crazy it's gonna and be then crazy. uh continuing youtube it's been kenny's been on my head for like about a year yeah. to actually like vlog and make a video and here we are filming the outro for my first one ever and i think it's pretty good for my first one like kenny helped me with a little bit but i've done the majority of it and uh i think i'm definitely gonna like enjoy like sharing my creativeness on youtube and like just like mm, building my following really and just getting to like share who i am because i think uh a lot of people will <laughs> like that i'm pretty goofy yeah so. we all are <laughs> sure i'm um, planning on change of scenery change of location oh yeah so uh maybe i shouldn't sit, sit on this kind of loud so uh yeah within the next in the next six, six months. months after the show really so the show's in like six months uh so after our trip to houston we re i realized that like that's where i want to be i loved it there i feel like i can really grow and thrive you know just building my clout i guess you could say and uh coming up i feel like houston was where i wanted to move i know we've all been thinking about making a move me kenny and corbin but i feel like houston was definitely where i felt like i was thriving uh so yeah houston 2020 after the show is when we should be moving we're still looking at like uh different places to go to and whatnot but it'll definitely be the move and uh, i'm pretty excited for it we're all we're all finna be we're all excited clout so. chasing in houston um, um, out of well i guess tell them goodbye all right until the next video thank y'all for all the support and uh here's the going up from here